Hello and welcome to what's in this week's Open Times with me, Sandy Neal. And me, Cathy Griffiths. Well, uh, we've got another packed issue this week, and my goodness, a lot has happened. Uh, we can give you a, a little insight into just some of the stories that are in the paper this week. So first of all, Islanders um, have been caught up in the chaos at the UK passport office. Some are still waiting up to 13 weeks for their new passports and face missing holidays. And one person has even missed an operation this month. Villagers in Delavik uh, are facing plans for more bigger wind farms uh, opposite them in Loho. But they are mounting plans um, to turn the area into a regional park in a bid to protect it from industrial development. A plan to build a cafe on a field in Connell, which is dividing the village into for and against, was debated at a tense meeting in Connell Village Hall last week. You can read all about that. Uh, Islanders on Jura have compiled a report on how its crumbling transport infrastructure is challenging growth and they are appealing to agencies for help to make it better. The Queen has given gongs to Tyree's only policeman and a long-serving coal farman and a 26-year-old student from Argyle College for his Covid tracker. Find out what they had to say about it. Before I hand over, we love hearing from you and getting your pictures and stories, so why not email us at editor at opentimes.co.uk or message us on Facebook. Well, it's been um, a pretty busy weekend, I have to say. I mean, there was just so much you couldn't go to all of it. However, we have got blanket coverage. You can get a roundup of Charities Day and Cathy has more on what else was happening. Well, it was an absolute belter of the weekend, wasn't it? The sun was out, everybody was out there uh, having fun. So, yes, we had Charities Day and that was absolutely glorious. And, of course, it was all the, the Platinum Jubilee celebrations as well, from street parties to uh, our posh afternoon teas. And uh, on seal, there were people swimming in the sea with crowns on, so all sorts of things going on. And, of course, it was the mod, the return of the mod. Live performances, again, hurrah. So everyone had a fantastic time and another mod organisers were absolutely chuffed to bits with um, the response and also the feedback that they've got from people who travelled from all over to take part. So uh, a great weekend for Oban. Um, and also, uh, yes, next year marks 100 years since Oban's seafront war memorial was unveil unveiled. Uh, there's a new project um, and it's going to mark that milestone and make sure that the cenotaph is ready to withstand the next 100 years. And it's uh, the idea actually came from some members from the Rockfield Heritage Project and Oban War and Peace Museum. So um, they're going to be looking at uh, what situation, what condition rather, the um, mon monument is in at the moment and maybe what work it needs doing on it. So there's lots of ideas there. They're also going to be asking people for stories of their loved ones who were lost in conflicts and they want to share those with others as part of this project. So there'll be more details to come on how you can contact them if you're interested in, in joining in that um, memorial, war memorial project. Also, I had a little day trip over to Mull uh, to see Carl Mack's latest boat with a price tag of £10.5 million launched this week. Um, and it's also bringing with it the promise of all year round commuter travel between Oban and Mull. So that was lovely to see uh, former Mull councillor Mary Jean Devon again. She had the honour of launching the MV Loch Freezer at Craig Muir on Monday, um, smashing a 12 year Sandy, you would have been so sad to see that 12 year old bottle of um, whiskey from Toba Morris Distil Distillery smashed on the side of the ship. Mm -hmm. No, I know. I know. I thought of you. I thought you'd have been in tears. But there you go. It took two attempts. So it was a bit of a stubborn bottle. It took two attempts to, uh, to, to crack it open. But there you go. That was a, um, a, a happy, a happy celebration and uh, lots to look forward to. Also, about two thirds of the new crew are local, you know, living on Mull. So that's going to be life changing, meaning that a lot of people, you know, rather than having to sort of go off the island to find employment, um, can actually, you know, stay at home. So uh, there we go. So that was good news for Mull. And um, as I say, yes, we've got lots of fantastic photos of all the Jubilee Charities Day 
and mod celebrations as well. So um, make sure you buy a copy of your OT from all the usual shops and uh, retail spots. Uh, or you can also go online and subscribe to our digital page turning edition as well. So there you go. That's it from me, Sandy. Well, fantastic, Cathy. Well, my goodness, there was a lot there. Well, um, I think that's about it from us. You can obviously catch up on all the latest sport, including last uh, weekend's Golf am am tournament. And I think that's all from us this week. Don't forget to pick up a copy of Europe and Times and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So with that, it's goodbye from me, Sandy Neal. And goodbye from me, Cathy Griffiths. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey, hey.